All right, so my name is Danny Contreras. Uh, for some of you guys don't know, I've been with the Alisa Eagles for a couple years now. I've got two sons and a little one in a couple years. It's going to be a mighty might. Uh, my family's been on the east side for over 60 years. Uh, we got a lot of relationships. I'm going to read this out. Um, Alisa Eagle football cheer and families and current board. I'm writing to express my intent to serve as president of the Alisa Eagle football and cheer team. I have communicated with many parents, and there are many concerns. I think our community of parents can tackle these concerns. We can make it equitable for all to have a healthy, thriving program for our kids and families to have fun and build character and life skills that will transcend just playing football. I believe in the power of our community and our children. I currently work for the County of Santa Cruz where I manage a medication assisted treatment program that I developed and implemented at all county clinics that have uh, had national statewide recognition. I won the HSA County, uh, County of Santa Cruz Gold Award in 2017, which is the highest award to receive. I was also nominated last year, 2022, for the same award. I currently manage the State Opiate Response Grant, which is a $1.2 million budget. Um, I have managed grants and programs for over 10 years. I also currently have a business where I manage contracts, grants, and regularly consulted as an expert on several issues in our community. I have served on different nonprofit boards over the years and have been an advisory function to many nonprofit boards and agencies. I have an AA degree in social and behavioral science, a bachelor's degree in psychology, and many certificates and certifications in drug and alcohol studies and social work. I have worked with young people and families for over 14 years in direct client care. Uh, I regularly do intervention and prevention throughout the school districts, uh, Santa Cruz and Salinas, uh, around gangs and drugs and, and that kind of type of stuff. If I'm appointed as president, I pledge to communicate with all the families and build a stronger community strive to lower costs for all families and pursue funding, scholarships, and grants, have our board be transparent about financials, uh, maybe we could get QuickBooks, that way everybody gets a, a monthly uh, thing of the finances and once everybody gets that trust back, we can go to like once a quarter, um, and listen to parents' feedback to help improve our organization. I look forward to building and developing our youth with our families through this organization. We have some awesome parents who are talented and ready to step in and help. I've talked to many of them and heard great feedback and ideas. Uh, thank you for your consideration, and if you have any questions, you can always contact me. Go out and sell Eagles. Yeah. I, I, I also have a letter from the Chief of Police, retired Chief of Police, so I go do uh, trainings to all the police officers now in uh, Monterey, so I'll leave that, but uh, he just says, uh, as a retired Chief of Police for over 32 years, I recognize good character, intentions, and talent. As such, about seven years ago, I recruited Danny to help train police recruits to better understand how people can do and sometimes change. Danny regularly lectures at the police academy with me, sharing from his mistakes and amazing successes. The student feedback is always positive. I support Danny's ethics, his character, and his application for president. I will be happy to answer any questions you might have regarding his suitability and volunteership on the board. Was that three minutes or no? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> So I'm writing this letter to express my interest in the Vice President's position on the board of the LSL Eagles Football and Cheer. As a dedicated parent and member of the LSL Eagles community for the past two years, I am passionate about contributing to the betterment of our youth in the east side of Salinas. Allow me to introduce myself and provide an overview of my qualifications and experiences that make me a suitable candidate for this important role. Over the last decade, I have devoted my career to higher education working at Monterey Peninsula College. During my tenure, I have had the privilege of developing and coordinating a college incentive scholarship program, which operates through the generous support of donors via the MPC Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization. This program has been tailored to cater to the needs of approximately 50 high school graduates every year who are first generation, low income, and considered high risk due to various challenges they have faced. A lot, of these, a lot of these students and youth do come and have been coming more from the east side of Salinas, even though we're in Monterey MPC, which it's been known as a private school or more for you know high end. So to me, that's I'm prideful of that because I'm from the east side of Salinas. So to see more and more kids that are being into our program from the east side of Salinas is pretty um, awesome and amazing to me. Um, these students typically possess lower GPAs and have overcome significant obstacles in their lives. Through my work, I have forged strong relationships with high schools, alternative schools, and various nonprofit organizations throughout Monterey County. 
The program provides a two-year scholarship to these deserving students, along with incentives throughout each semester to motivate and support their success at the college level, something many of them had never dreamed possible. In addition to my experience in higher education, I bring wealth of ex expertise in networking and event planning with a proven track record of securing sponsorships and donations for the benefit of youth in need. My ability to build connections within the community has been instrumental in funding the College Incentive Scholarship Program. And I'm confident that this skill can be, <laughs> that this skill set can be leveraged for the LSL Eagles football and chair organization. My motivation for seeking the vice president position goes beyond personal involvement in my children's football journey. I genuinely care about the well-being and development of all children in our community. I believe that the LSL Eagles represent an incredible opportunity to make a positive impact in the lives of our youth, especially in the east side of Salinas, where many families face financial challenges. I've spoken with numerous families, including current and former Eagles members, who are eager to return and be a part of our community. I firmly believe that there is an immense potential in growth within our organization, and that we should strive to be an accessible, affordable, and inclusive team. Scholarships and sponsorships opportunities can open doors for children who might otherwise miss out on the valuable experiences that this sport and our organization can offer. I have a strong vision for the LSL Eagles football and cheer, and I'm ready to work collaboratively with, with the board and the community to bring this vision to life. I am dedicated to making a meaningful difference in helping our organization thrive. Thank you for considering my application for the vice president position. I'm excited about the possibilities and the positive change we can bring together as a community. I look forward to the opportunity to discuss my ideas and qualifications more in detail. Thank you. Thank you. I hope it's speaking, so I'm going to keep it real brief. Uh, my name is Tatiana Satsuesi, for those of you that don't know me. Um, I've been with the LSL Eagles for two years now. My son plays on the junior league football team, um, and I'm up here to express my intent to run for treasurer. I feel with my knowledge and work experience, I'd be a great fit. I have a bachelor's degree in business and pursuing my master's degree in business as well. Mm. I'm currently the administrative assistant, soon to be management analyst for the chief medical officer of Natividad. Um, so I work very closely with the Natividad Foundation, which is also a nonprofit. Um, I assist him with strategic planning, which is the annual budget. I also assist in the accounting department with bank reconciliation and invoice payments, payroll, and position reimbursements. And I also assist in HR with position onboarding, offboarding, and verifying their credentials. So I pay very close attention to detail in everything. Mm -hmm. um, if appointed treasurer, I plan to implement clear communication, um, financial transparency, itemized statements with backup of what is being purchased for everything. Um, I feel like you guys shouldn't be left in the dark with that um, with our current board and MBYFL. Um, and also ensuring that our tax ID is current so that way we can take on donations and grants, if possible. Again, my name is Tatiana Fatsuesi. Don't be afraid to ask questions and don't be afraid to demand answers. Vote for me. All right, good afternoon. My name is Fernando Alcada, and I am running for Equipment Manager. Um, a little bit about myself. I am a dad of three girls. One is a current cheerleader. My other two daughters will, be, will more than likely cheer next season. I have been part of the Alice Eagles organization for seven years with my oldest daughter about to enter her last year in cheer and my youngest about to start her first year. Safe to say I will be here for a few years. Uh, why I feel I would be a good candidate for equipment manager. For the past 15 years, I've been in business management, which means I do all the buying, maintaining inventory, negotiate prices, and look for alternative vendors for better pricing or better quality and products, which is exactly what this position entails. Uh, in addition to my professional, uh, professional experience that I just mentioned, I also volunteer my time at Salinas National Little League as a board representative and as the current equipment manager for the organization. Uh, my duties include ordering all equipment, distributing equipment to coaches, ensure that all players have everything they need for a successful season, and collect, collect the equipment at the end of the season. Like I mentioned earlier, I have three daughters, and I have always been involved in every sport my daughters do. May that have been baseball or softball. I have coached for the past eight years and have had the privilege to coach some of your sons or daughters. Uh, to anyone that has coached, you know it's a good feeling when years down the road, 
those same kids are still calling you coach. It's a good feeling knowing you made a difference in their life. I am running for equipment manager because I want to continue to give back to my community and I want to continue to build relationships and make a difference in our youth's future. Thank you. Thank you. How you guys doing? <clears throat> my name is Chris Moreno. This year I was you guys' football director. I intend to be a part of the organization as well. I think we have a lot of growth in our organization. And with you guys' support, I think we can get to greener pastures. I think that uh, this is my first year. There's a lot of things that come out this year. That we all wanted to uh, want to change, and your voice is here now. We, I, I plan to be a part of this organization for the long run. Thank you. Um, most of you, some of you know me, some of you guys don't, but my name is Jessica and I'm running for secretary this year. Um, I currently have a son who plays on the midgets and possibly a Mighty Mike cheerleader for next season. I started off with the Eagles about 12 years ago. Um, my daughter was about two and at this age that they didn't have a Mighty Mike team. So it was, they were called Little Stars. Um, she's now in high school, now cheering for Alice L. During these past years with this league, I've learned a lot about what works and what doesn't work and what can be fixed. I've been employed in, this, in the medical field for over 14 years, and as of right now, I am responsible for uh, authorizations and referrals for a couple of clinics here in Monterey County. My, so it might be safe to say that I do a lot of office, and I know how to work in office and do a lot of paperwork. I also understand current privacy laws and responsibility, and the responsibility that I'm requesting to take on, but I'm ready. My goal if I'm elected is not only to do my duties as your secretary, by providing you with minutes for every meeting, hearing questions and concerns, but also making sure that our cheer and football players have the best years while being Eagles. As secretary, I promise to make sure that nobody in this league will be left behind. Let me start off by telling you why I joined this league years ago. During my first years in this league, this league was known to bring the biggest, loudest, most respectful crowds to our games and tournaments. The Alisa Eagles was a place where you felt if you ever felt like an outcast or felt like you were or you were new to the football and cheer scene, this was the place to be. We were always known for giving every child play time, regardless if they were first time players or vets. The league welcomed me and my family with open arms. I could walk up from a long day at work, at work from work and know that if we went to practice, I didn't really have to worry about feeding my kids because we as parents got together and bonded during practices. There was no closed practices. We had board members, parents, siblings, and even friends whose kids have outgrown the league come and hang out and would sit there on the grass with us from afar watching our, our kids play, sharing snacks, and bonding with one another. We turned into a family. I am determined to get this back to the place we used to be as a league, and the only way possible is by making a huge change. Change is scary, but we'll be okay. If you vote for me, we can do this. I'm a little nervous, so hold my voice is here. Okay. Good. Okay, so um, my name is Jasmine Hernandez. Um, people may know me as Jasmine Nunez also. Um, I'm writing this letter to give you just a brief introduction about myself. Um, I've been part of this organization. I started cheerleading with the Eagles in uh, 1999, year 2000. Um, I joined as a Pee Wee cheerleader. My husband was also part of this organization when he played football for the LSL Eagles in 2000. Once I became a mom, it felt like second nature to sign my kids up for the organization that I grew up that I grew up in and love. I currently have two kids in the organization. I have one that's already in high school. He also was an Eagle, and I'll have two more joining next year. My daughter, she'll be in cheer. Exciting. And then my other son, Abram, which he's he's planning on coming back. I would love to be considered slash nominated part of the board because I believe that I can bring a positive opportunity to the Eagles. I'm currently a site director for a nonprofit organization, and I have close ties with a, a Rotary Club and other organizations willing to help and help us and fund fund not everything, but help with a little bit. I also have been a site director so slash coordinator for nonprofit or I'm even shaking, nonprofit organizations for over 13 years. I started just, I'm gonna go off the paper because I'm too nervous. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just a little brief introduction about myself. Um, so I grew up in the east side. I, my mom had me join the Eagles because uh, my cousin's family was the board back then. 
So we did that. I ended up liking it. I wasn't the best cheerleader, but I was loud. So I ended up joining it. We went off into high school, and I cheered for high school as well. Um, I ended up having a scholarship for cheer, but I became a mother. So I ended up deciding to dedicate myself into a nonprofit and putting all of my work into that. Um, my work speaks for itself. You can look me up and it will be credited. I have worked with all 12 LSL Union school districts, which were be below basic, and myself, I was a coordinator, I brought all those 12 schools up. Working with Rotary Club, working with other pro uh, programs, just to help get the fundamentals ready for, for our kids in the east side and lower cost of living. I have never been a secretary before, but I'm a mother and I love the challenge. And I know that when I put my heart into something, I will give it all. The current secretary is my cousin-in-law, and I know that she will be helping me um, if I get the if I get the position. I also have a few other um, close friends that I've worked with over the past years. Like I said, I'm a mother of six. My oldest is 14, which they are also board members, and they said that they were willing to help me out with anything I need, like any question, just from other organizations. I believe in this organization because I grew up in this organization and I really, I'm a firm believer that we can do it. Um, I'm not saying that I can make this board any better. I know my time is there, but I'm willing to help in any way possible. And even if that means the old board, I mean, you guys know, you, I'm always talking away so you guys can just <laughs> catch me there. But like I said, I really love this organization. I grew up in this organization. I want my kids to grow up in this organization. I even want to be a grandma out there like, yeah, that's mine, that's mine, you know? So let's just make it work. Yay, thank you. To the Alaska Eagle Football and Church Community and Family. I am writing this letter to express my interest in being part of the Alaska Football and Church Community by running for Booster Club representative. I have been in the Alaska Eagle family for three years. I love our community. I love the friendship and the friendship that comes with it. Recently, the board hasn't been exclusive, transparent, but although the, it's not as expected, I, I still have hope and passion for our teams and community. I want not only our children, but my children as well, to feel the excitement, to play and have fun and have a good time. I choose this position because I would like to dedicate myself to not only make our teams look good, but to make them feel good about themselves and our teams. The reason for choosing this position is due to the fact that I love taking my time to decorate and make my surroundings unique and nice. I want to see our team's faces of excitement and energy build up due to the fact of seeing their home field being celebrated for them. I truly believe involving the family and friends in our organization could bring lots of positive positivity and opportunity to make our organization better. If gaining this opportunity to be a booster club representative, I will help in any preparation needed for our home games and events, assist with concessions and help maintain, operate our snack bar, coordinate with team moms and assign parents, volunteers, events, they may need for their requirements of volunteer hours. Help maintain sportsmanship between players, parents, and spectators. Host meetings involving parents and fundraising for the events. I'm looking forward to improving and better, bettering our organization. Putting in suggestions, keeping an open mind will allow to improve and make the Alice Out Eagle community better. Thank you for listening and taking the time to our Alice Out Eagle organization. Remember, go Eagles. Bye. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rosa. I have been part of this Eagle family for over seven years, I think going on eight, um, as a football and a cheer mom. Not only am I a super proud mom that loves to show her kids off, but I'm also a dedicated parent and member of the LSL Eagles community. I'm currently working within the community as a behavioral technician at the LSL School District, working directly with the youth of East Salinas. I am very passionate about contributing to the betterment of our youth and I have tried to show it not only through my work in the district, but also my volunteer work over the last couple of years. Um, I was able to experience some pretty cool events, not only thrown by the eight organization, but its families. My goal as elected booster club representative is to keep that going. I want all of us to get together and make it fun and memorable for our kiddos. I want to continue do, doing team bonding events. Um, 
So not only our kids get to know each other, but the parents can't network and socialize. Who knows, maybe collaborate and share ideas we all have to improve this organization. I would love to hear any suggestions parents and board members may have on fundraisers, event themes. I want, I want to be part of making the Eagles great. Um, I want our teams to be full. Uh, I want to contribute to helping these Eastside kids stay off the streets and find an outlet where they can freely express themselves. I want to continue to be that place where they feel comfortable to be themselves, also be their safe place. Being in this organization for over seven years, I have come to meet some amazing people. I will always be grateful for the work that was not only put into my kids, but all the kids of Alice Out Eagles family. I have tried to help where, is, where it is needed during games, fundraisers, events, even helping set up for special events. And I do feel like now's the right time for me to try to expand my knowledge and give back to the Eagles any way I possibly can. Regardless of the outcome of this election, I will be there to assist in whatever aspect needed. Thank you for your time and consideration. Thank you. Thank you.